Hi everyone! I have a new pick a card reading for you today and um, in here we're gonna find out how this person stuck in your mind right now as you watch this video truly feels about you. So this could be about anyone, a person you're dealing with. This could be your partner or your crush, a special someone um, or a platonic connection. I don't know. Just apply what resonates because this is a general reading. Uh, you can choose now either deck number one, the purple one, or deck number two, the white one. Um, the timestamp is in the description box below. YouTube also provide this uh, thumbnail timestamp, so it would be easier for you to choose between deck number one, the purple one, the one in your left, um, or deck number two, the white one, the one in your right. Hi guys! Uh, if you've chosen deck number one, the purple one, this spread is for you. In here, we're gonna find out um, how your person um, really, truly feels about you right now. As you watch this video, um, keep in mind guys that this is a general reading. So it won't resonate with each and every one of you. But if you want to learn more, you can book a private reading with me. All you have to do is follow my Instagram account. The link to my profile is in the description box below. Send me a direct message. And um, when I have free time, I will book you a private reading. Also, keep in mind, guys, that in here, you can reverse switch and or flip roles. And cards are not gender specific. Again, we're going to find out here um, how your person truly feels about you right now as you watch this video. And we're going to find out as well all the energies involving the connection that you have with this person and all the energies that influence you and the person you're dealing with okay just apply what resonates guys because this is a chill reading Okay, let's take the left pile as your first spread, deck number one people. Again, we're going to find out here how the person you're dealing with uh, truly feels about you right now as you watch this video. You have the Nine of Cups. Wow. Um, the Sun card. The Strength card. The Seven of Cups. The Death card. And the Queen of Swords. Let's look at the, at the Sojak signs first. But if the signs do not resonate... Um, just take the energies of the cards, guys. It's more important, okay? Um, there's a strong um, Leo energy in here with the Sun card and the Strength card. Those are two cards that um, really um, um, uh, emulate or um, represent uh, Leo, fire sign. Um, it's possible that um, maybe they, they are a Scorpio. Uh, or Scorpio is involved in your situation. Also, strong water. Other water signs are here. Um, Cancer and uh, Pisces. Maybe they have air in their chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again, uh, take what resonates. Uh, if the signs do not resonate in your situation, apply the energies of the cards. How this person truly feels about you? You know, deck number one people, they see you as someone who is a wish fulfillment. Okay? Um, I feel like for some, if not most of you, um, this person sees you as a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a wife or a husband material with the nine of cups this is this is an energy of wish fulfillment so it's safe to say that this person you know is happy to be with you or connected with you involved with you um they feel blessed they feel blessed um to uh have you in uh, their life, uh, you bring positivity, you bring joy, and they acknowledge that. They know, and um, I, I feel like they share this to other people as well. You know, when they talk about you, um, uh, they talk about how you, um, I, you know, give them all these butterflies in the stole map. You know, I know that sounds corny, guys, but that's how I see the hearts, okay? And, um, you know... Um, they know that um, you are a source of happiness, uh, genuine positivity, and joy with the sun card. I feel like um, this person has a lot of options right now. 
uh, this person is um, or involved uh, with um, a lot of connections doesn't have to be romantic but it could be um, it's safe to say that this person is attracting a lot of attentions with the seven of cups and again um, they have a lot of options they could easily just go to um, another uh, another way uh, they could um, live their life with someone else but I feel like they've chosen to focus on you with the nine of cups the Sun card um, plus the strength card you know uh, you give this person strength so it's like um, you are a source of their energy it's really good it's really corny I know but it's really um, all, all the positive energies are here and um Speaking of positivity, uh, you know this person is um, really highly influenced by you. Um, they are forced by you to change and change for the better with the death card. This person is having major metamorphosis right now as you watch this video. Um, major changes happening in their life. Um, you are a catalyst. So you are a source of this person's um, you know, process of changing and changing for the better. Of course, other energies um, involved in the situation may be are in play as well uh, the surrounding energy all other energies connected with this person it is also possible just apply what resonates this person right now has been stalking you on social media or they ask about you to other people okay um for instance, maybe you posted something on Facebook, they're gonna check it out. Um, and, and they're gonna check um, all the people who are commenting or reacting on your post. Um, and, but they're, they are coming from um, um, a genuine perspective, you know. They, they just want to protect you. They just want to know uh, what you're doing, how you're doing, um, day by day, okay. And I feel like this person really talks about you. Uh, I feel like to their mom as well or to their dad, um, they share stories about you really good stories about you and that is very very interesting let's look at your second spread deck number one people you have the ace of swords the ten of pentacles the page of cups the ace of wands the nine of swords and the seven of wands yeah look at this one the seven of wands and the queen of swords side by side this person is in the defense mode they want to protect you at all costs they feel like you are their responsibility, okay? This is a knight in shining armor energy, the seven of wands plus the queen of swords. Um, they're ready to protect and attack anyone who who will try to hurt you. Um, this is this is a person who is really courageous and has the strength to protect you at all costs. Also with the ace of swords, um, you know their attraction uh, to you is not just it's not just uh, on the outside but also on the inside they're attracted by how you think and how you and how you deal with your life in general as a whole um they admire how you do things uh, on your own you as an individual uh, a very independent individual maybe uh, you earn your own money uh, you have side hustles really and you have shown this person uh, who you are and um, um you've shown them uh your worth that you're a high uh, a highly um uh, you have high worth you have you are um yeah i feel like this person is a fan as well um they're a fan of yours um again they acknowledge how you earn money they admire how you earn money and they admire how you deal with your own problems with the ten of pentacles and the ace of swords and you know i feel like uh, I, I really don't want to say this because i don't i don't like the word obsessed but i feel like this person is nearing the obsession level because they always think about you before they go to bed with the nine of swords they always think about you and you know i feel like this is because of sexual attraction with the ace of wands they're as well sexually attracted to you uh, apart from um, them uh, attracted to how you think, your mindset, and um, your achievements in life, they're also attracted um, by your uh, sex appeal. So, um, you know, before they go to bed, um, they do things. <laughs> I don't have to explain that to you guys. I know you know you know what, what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah. You are in their fantasy world, okay? That is really cute and very sexy, very hot. Um... This person is marching towards your way. I feel like um, at some point in the immediate future or in the future, at some point there, um, they're going to offer something. 
maybe a committed relationship or um, um, an assurance maybe or maybe uh, if this is still um, a platonic connection or what have you they're gonna elevate um, they're gonna um, they're gonna upgrade the connection and I feel like they're gonna offer a committed relationship with the page of cups but again um, this is the page of cups this is a slow moving energy um, of course, the, the Knight of Pentacles is lower, but I take the Page of Cups as a slow-moving slow page. Um, and I feel like uh, this is the movement of this person marching towards your way. is highly influenced by the Ten of Pentacles, which is financial stability. I don't know where this energy is coming from. Uh, if this is coming from you, I feel like um, they know all your priorities in life and they don't want to um give you trouble you know um they fully support what you're doing all your passion your purpose your job or what have you your side hustles they fully support that and they don't want to ruin it by offering love okay so they are very careful careful right now and they think about this situation that they have with you right now they think about this before they go to bed and um, before they do some things because they're sexually attracted to you um let's put all these cards back in the deck deck number one people and um, closure reading with advice cards. Let's see what the universe has to say about the situation that you have with this person. Again, these are for the people who have chosen deck number one. The purple one. How the person you're dealing with truly feels about you. Let's see the universe, the advice from the universe on how to deal with this person and the energies involved in the connection that you have with them. Okay, you have the King of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the Full Card. You know, with the Full Card, I feel like the universe wants you to enjoy life. Just enjoy life. Don't be pressured by um, the society um, and um, the energies of other people. Uh, enjoy and focus on your own pace. And uh, you're going to reach your goals. You're going to reach your dreams. You're going to reach your destination. Don't rush things just the process avoid conflicts at all costs with the five of swords avoid conflicts avoid confrontation with other people especially with the person you're dealing with uh, the person stuck in your mind right now um because i feel like that would derail you or slow you down the process that you have it would slow you down so i feel like you just have to focus on positivity um it's okay to feel negative sometimes it's normal or are human beings but you know, uh, focus on the bright side. Always fo focus on the positive energies. And um, focus on your passion with the King of Wands. Uh, focus on things that make you happy. Focus on the things that um, truly inspire you. And uh, uh, inspire you to become a better person. Become a better individual. And at the end of the day, this is self-love, self-care. Focus on your priorities. Um, and, um, you know, your time will shine. Uh, your time will come, and uh, you will shine. Okay, I really hope that helped and resonated, guys. Be sure to hit that like button, comment or share the video, and um, if you like how we read cards and you're new here, be sure to subscribe. You can also book a private reading with me. All you have to do is follow my Instagram account. The link to my profile is in the description box below. Send me a direct message, and when I have free time, I will book your private reading. Good luck, deck number one people, the purple people. Trust the process, and I hope to see you in my next reading. Bye. Hey guys, if you've chosen deck number two or the white one, um, this spread is for you. In here, we're going to find out um, how the person you're dealing with truly feels about you. And we're going to find out all the energies involved in the situation that you have with them. Okay? Um, energies that may influence you, them, or uh, and the connection as a whole. Keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading, so it won't resonate with each and every one of you. But if you want to learn more, you can book a private reading with me. All you have to do is follow my Instagram account. The link to my profile is in the description box below. Send me a direct message 
And when I have free time, I will book you a private reading. Also, keep in mind, guys, that in here, you can reverse switch and or flip roles. And cards are not gender-specific. Again, we're going to find out here how the person you're dealing with truly feels about you, all the energies involved in the situation that you have with them, and um, energies that may influence you, them, and the connection as a whole. Let's see. So we'll take this right uh, pile as your first spread, deck number two people. Let's see, you have the five of pentacles, the nine of wands, the magician card, the six of cups, the ten of swords, and the seven of pentacles. Let's look at the zodiac signs first, but guys, if it does not resonate, the zodiac signs focus on the energies of the cards. It's more important. Okay, there is a strong um, Gemini energy in here. Um... Also, strong Earth energy, Taurus, Vega, Capricorn. Um, actually, all signs are here. Maybe they have fire, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All signs are here, actually. So, just a plan that resonates, guys. Um, I feel like at some point in the past, you may have hurt this person. Okay, this could be an ex, ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, ex-husband, ex-wife, or a past person whom you've shared a romantic connection with. At some point in the past, in the recent past, or in the past past, just a plow resonates, you or they may have hurt um, you or them. Okay, you know, just a plow resonates. Who did the hurting? I don't know. Um, with the Ten of Swords. But the good thing here is, with the Ten of Swords, this is at the tail end of the pain. Okay? This is the last pain hurting you. So, this is about to reach the energy of forgiveness. So, I feel like if you're waiting for forgiveness, this person is about to reach that point. They are in the tail end of this process of them, um, of healing. And eventually, they would uh, eventually heal and maybe um, forgive you. Or if you are still in hurt, in pain, I feel like you're going to reach this um, ending and they're gonna have forgiveness and uh, reconciliation with this person um i feel like you know who this person is deep down inside you have a strong bond with them and i feel like this could be a soulmate guys but of course we have two types of soulmates i always say that one is temporary the other one is permanent the temporary one would stay by our side until we've learned that lesson that they have to teach us and once we've learned that lesson they're gonna leave and walk away and won't come back the other one will stay by our side until we die or until they die. Um, the Six of Cups is, um, is a soulmate type of energy. So I feel like, um, you know, I feel like every hour, every day, um, you always feel a strong bond with this person. Whether you talk to them or not, uh, you know, their thoughts um, appear uh, in your head. Uh, you know, they live in your head. rent free, they say. Um, or this could be the person's energies as well. Uh, but of course, they always think about you. Uh, you know, they always feel your energy. Um, right now, there's a thick, healthy boundary that separates the both of you. So I feel like um, with the Nine of Wands, I feel like both of you are living separate lives right now. But again, with the Six of Cups, uh, both of you are energetically connected on a deeper level. Okay? Someone may have ghosted the other person with the Five of Pentacles. So... Uh, when this person left, uh, a take healthy boundary um, appeared, was created with the nine of wands. So someone who, uh, the person who was left behind, they felt the pain. They started with the ace of swords, down to the ten of swords. They are in the tail end of the pain. Uh, they would eventually heal from this and uh, eventually, you know, forgive the other person for leaving them. Someone is patiently waiting. Someone is really patient in the con. Okay, I'm so sorry, guys. The camera just stopped. Anyhow, um, I uh, with the seven of pentacles in here, I feel like um, someone is patiently waiting right now, waiting for the other person to come or um, come back. Okay, uh, it's still up to you if you're gonna wait for this, but I feel like um, the situation right now demand a lot of patience on both sides okay someone is really patient in this connection so uh if you're patient that's good um i feel like this is your energy with the seven of pentacles okay you're gonna wait it's up to you you have um free will it's still up to you if you're gonna wait for this person or not um someone is also trying to manifest the connection too um 
improve and um, be better at some point in the future with the magician this is a very powerful energy right now and I feel like uh, this is you I'm getting a strong energy uh, that this is you watching this video you're trying to manifest the connection to improve and uh, maybe we connect further and more i have a committed relationship with this person just a plow it resonates um this is a strong energy i feel like if you continuously have this you're gonna end up having this manifesting this in the treaty realm okay let's look at your second spread deck number two people you have the emperor card the hierophant the strength card the eight of cups the ten of cups and the judgment card people know okay People know about the connection that you have with this person. Um, maybe they talk about you a lot to other people. So other people know about this. Or maybe you you did all the talking, okay? You share this story to other people or what have you. You know, just apply what resonates. But I'm seeing in here that this is a highly broadcasted, a highly watched uh, connection. People have been waiting for the next things, okay? Um, this is very interesting. This could be your friends or their friends. Just apply what resonates with the judgment. This is um, um, a stage um, about um, the limelight or the spotlight on both of you or the connection that you have with them. Someone is gaining strength. This is good. Someone is gaining strength and the momentum. To keep the connection going and improve for the better with the strength card for plus the hierophant the hierophant is one of the most stable energies in the tarot deck so i feel like this would be um this would improve and become stable at some point in the future um this would enter a truce if you are not in speaking terms or if you fought uh if if uh, if there was a fallout at some point in the past this would enter a truce and um maybe reconciliation would happen um uh, at some point in the future because there's strength in here plus the hierophant plus the ten of cups this is genuine happiness i feel like it's safe to say that for some if not most of you um so uh you made this person genuinely happy at some point in the past okay or they did give you genuine happiness and you acknowledge that either way uh both of you i feel like for a fraction of you both of you have felt genuine happiness so you don't want this to go and uh, you keep on fighting, you keep on waiting with um, the Seven of Pentacles in here, plus the Strength card and the Hierophant. This would go on until someone in the connection give up. Okay? Unless both of you are fighting, both of this, uh, this connection would thrive and eventually at some point in the future would improve. Improve for the better. The Eight of Cups is here. This is walking away from all the negativities of the past with the Eight of Cups. This could be all the past issues, past heartbreaks, past traumas that involve love. You're going to walk away from this or they're going to walk away from this and move towards the calmer space, which is the Two of Cups. Okay? This is the Eight of Cups. What's missing is the Two of Cups. The Ten of Cups is here. So I feel like this is a complete connection. Um, what is needed right now is forgiveness, reconciliation, and um, you know healing on both sides okay uh, i'm gonna put all these cards back in the deck guys and um close your reading with advice cards again these are for the people who have chosen deck number two let's see what the universe has to say about you and the connection that you have with this person these are for the people who have chosen deck number two the white spread the white deck Okay, you have the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is here again. This is a repeating card, guys. This is patience. I feel like the universe wants you to be patient about this, patient about your person, patient about yourself. You have to be more patient, be more careful. You know, um, good things come and arrive at the right place and at the right time. This is trusting the process. Gain more knowledge with the Ace of Swords. Gain that mental clarity that you need in order for you to protect yourself and protect your loved ones, including the person you're dealing with, your platonic connection, your family connections, especially yourself. Okay, this is this is a much needed um, uh, much needed tool in order for you to keep going, keep moving forward, and uh, gain. Okay, with a lot of consistency and um, a lot of um, uh, integrity, and um. Yeah, patience again with the Seven of Pentacles and with the Knight of Wands. 
explore. Don't limit yourself uh, on your tiny little bubble. Uh, keep, the bu keep the bubble expanding. Uh, your territory is expanding. This could be learning new skills, new hobbies that may allow you to earn more money. Okay? I really hope that helped and resonated, guys. Be sure to hit that like button, comment, or share the video. And um, if you like how I read cards and you're new here, be sure to subscribe. You can also book a private reading with me. All you have to do is follow my Instagram account. The link to my profile is in the description box below. Send me a direct message. And when I have free time, I will book you a private reading. Good luck, tech number to people, the white ones. Um, I hope to see you in my next reading. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.